Rebecca, a wife for Isaac. The servant said, Before I eat, I must tell you why I have come. Go ahead and tell us, Laban answered. The servant explained, I'm Abraham's servant. The Lord has been good to my master and has made him very rich. He has given him many sheep, goats, cattle, camels and donkeys, as well as a lot of silver and gold and many slaves. Sarah, my master's wife, didn't have any children until she was very old. Then she had a son, and my master has given him everything. I solemnly promised my master that I would do what he said, and he told me, Don't choose a wife for my son from the women in this land of Canaan. Instead, go back to the land where I was born and find a wife for my son from among my relatives. When I came to the well today, I silently prayed, You, Lord, are the God my master Abraham worships, so please lead me to a wife for his son while I'm here at the well. When a young woman comes out to get water, I'll ask her to give me a drink. If she gives me a drink and offers to get some water for my camels, I'll know she is the one you have chosen. Even before I had finished praying, Rebecca came by with a water jar on her shoulder. When she had filled the jar, I asked her for a drink. She quickly lowered the jar from her shoulder and said, Have a drink, then I'll get water for your camels. So I drank, and after that she got some water for my camels. I asked her who her father was, and she answered, My father is Bethuel, the son of Nahor and Milcah. Straight away I put the ring in her nose and the bracelets on her arm. Then I bowed my head and gave thanks to the God my master Abraham worships. The Lord had led me straight to my master's relatives, and I had found a wife for his son. Now, please tell me, if you are willing to do the right thing for my master, will you treat him fairly, or do I have to look for another young woman? They called her and asked, Are you willing to leave with this man at once? Yes, she answered. So they agreed to let Rebecca and an old family servant woman leave immediately with Abraham's servant and his men. They gave Rebecca their blessing and said, We pray that God will give you many children and grandchildren and that he will help them defeat their enemies. Afterwards, Rebecca and the young women who were to travel with her prepared to leave. Then they got on camels and left with Abraham's servant and his men. At that time, Isaac was living in the southern part of Canaan near a place called the Well of the Living One Who Sees Me. One evening he was walking out in the fields when suddenly he saw a group of people approaching on camels, so he started towards them. Rebecca saw him coming. She got down from her camel and asked, Who is that man? He's my master Isaac, the servant answered. Then Rebecca covered her face with her veil. The servant told Isaac everything that had happened. Isaac took Rebekah into the tent where his mother had lived before she died, and Rebekah became his wife. He loved her and was comforted over the loss of his mother.